everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of the NRA Winchester Marksmanship Program, at least the first stages, and then future videos, I will show you how to achieve the different levels of marksmanship in order to earn rockers. So if you've taken a basic pistol course, particularly if you've taken one from me, um, you will know, unless you were sleeping, or I forgot to tell you, that I encourage people to continue to pursue uh, developing firearms proficiency. And one great way to do that is the Winchester Marksmanship Program. So when you graduate from uh, my basic pistol course or any other NRA instructor's basic pistol course, uh, you're eligible to get a patch. Uh, it's a pistol qualification patch. So I have those on hand for my students. They can buy uh, at, the, um, at the end of the, the training. Then, as you develop your marksmanship and can show that through the marksmanship program, you're eligible to get additional rockers to go with that patch. So it's kind of a cool thing. Um, and there are uh, there's a document uh, put out by NRA and the Winchester program. It's a partnership between Winchester and the NRA uh, that has these different courses of fire. The problem is, if you read the document, sometimes it can be really confusing, especially if you're a new shooter. So my goal here in this video and in future videos is to show you exactly what they want you to do and how they want you to do it. This is the first stage. It really is the easiest one. And in uh, your targets are simply paper plates. So these are nine inch paper plates. I picked these up from the dollar store for, I know, a dollar. You saw that coming, didn't you? Um, yeah, a buck for 40 plates. And uh, I shot my groups on this and I'm about to show you the video of how that works out. Now, the way the marksmanship program works is you have to do the course of fire, um, I think always 10 times. And so um, in this particular case, we're going to put the paper plates out at five yards or uh, 15 feet. And then for the pro marksman level, which is where we'll start, um, you shoot two-handed from the bench rest position. Now, you may have to improvise, kind of like I did here. Um, not a lot of ranges have bench rest shooting positions that are easy to do, but almost all of them have some sort of a table. So what you do is you do what I do. I set my, my gun bag or something else up that I can use to rest. And ideally you wanna be seated with the sights brought up to your eye level, which means adjusting the chair or, um, or the, uh, the level of the bench rest. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta improvise. So basically what I did is I rested my arms on the bag um, and then used that as the bench rest and then leaned down uh, to where I could get uh, my, my eyes on sight. Uh, in this particular video also, you can see um, I did put multiple plates on the same target. On an outdoor range, one of the challenges is, particularly in a range that's being shared with other shooters, um, in order to go change targets, you have to basically have the entire line go cold, everybody has to stop shooting, and then you go out and make target changes. So on, on an outdoor range, uh, it's beneficial if you can set up multiple uh, targets to shoot at so that you can get some shooting done uh, you know, and then not have to close the range for every single paper plate. In this case, you'll see what I did. I kind of cheated a little bit, not cheated the course, but um, I shot the course using a smaller number of paper plates because, well, number one, my accuracy is good enough that I can easily do the groups um, and identify that I'm within the nine inch paper plate, which is the requirement. It allowed me to get all 10 of my groups on only four paper plates. And uh, that way I didn't have to close the line uh, down to go change plates. Now you also see I have actually six paper plates on my target. The reason I never use those lower two is because one of the requirements at my range is um, I have to be able to shoot the back berm um, when I shoot through the target and not the protective berm down below or not the ground. As I'm doing this, um, it never really worked out that I could shoot those lower targets 
uh, without violating the rules. So that's why I'm only shooting the top uh, four t uh, plates, and that really is the only reason. If you're on an indoor range, it's even easier because you generally have controls that you can bring the target to and from you. So you run it out to, uh, to 15 feet, maybe set a couple of plates on there, maybe all four, whatever you can fit. Uh, and then uh, after you shoot that, you just run it back change plates and then stick it back out again. So I just stapled these plates up there. Let, let me give you the rules here. You shoot five shots within the nine inch uh, circle and you have to do that 10 times. So um, I did that 10 different times. Uh, again, I sort of used plates multiple times. Now as a new shooter, you're uh, not gonna be quite probably as accurate um, on a grouping. You're not gonna have a small groups. You may take up the entire plate uh, with your group and that's perfectly fine. Don't feel like you have to shoot groups like this or like this. This is fine. As a matter of fact, when you're scoring them, they all count if they're inside and half inch from the border. So if you have anything that came around the border, as long as it's more than a half inch away from the edge, uh, you're good to go on that. That's for stage one, the Pro Marksman stage at Benchrest. You have to do it 10 times for it to count. You don't have to do it in a row. You don't have to do it on the same day. So if you're going out and you're practicing and you're feeling really good, and you shoot uh, five shots into the, the nine inch plate and you get an eight and a half inch group uh, for the pro marksman level, awesome. Put up another paper plate, try it again. If you get it, awesome, keep going. If you miss and, uh, and you shoot off, off the target or you get out into that half inch uh, outer perimeter, that's okay. Just, you know, use that as a practice opportunity, and then the next plate, see if you can get it. So it doesn't have to be 10 plates in a row, it just has to be 10 plates total. And that could take weeks to do. It's up to you, your timing is it. Not everybody's gonna be able to go out and shoot all 10 groups uh, on the plate in one session. So don't feel like you have to. I'm just trying to show you uh, what you're expected to do and how it works. Uh, so anyway, Groups this big, 15 feet, no problem, guys. If you passed basic pistol, you can do that because I had you shooting at 10 feet, uh, what's it, four inch group, right? So um, at 15 feet, eight and a half inch group should be no problem for you guys. Um, it may take a little bit of time. Uh, you may have to really focus on your fundamentals, side alignment, trigger pull, breath control, follow through, all of that stuff that we learned in basic pistol. But anyway, here is the video of me shooting this so you can see exactly um, how it's done.
Now, if you thought this was way too easy, don't worry, it's gonna get a lot harder. And, uh, and if you barely made it, hey, Congratulations, because that means you're improving, actually. And uh, and yeah, we're gonna have some fun uh, as we progress through this, and you can earn those rockers. So do it, have fun. Even if you never buy the rockers, um, just use it as a personal opportunity for achievement so that you can show yourself how you're improving. So take your time with it, enjoy it, learn from it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.